Good morning and welcome to the channel, The Vaping Piper. Yeah, I came in especially early, early this morning for two things. First, to have a delicious blend just before work in my LCS Briar poker from Simon LCS Briars, one of my uh, really enjoyable pipes. And this uh, vapor blend, which is actually very tasty, the Peter Heinrichs that I reviewed as of late, and I since then put it in a jar. Yeah, so I'm enjoying this blend very much. But what I am enjoying uh, even more uh, when it comes to these kind of videos, when I receive a nice selection of pipe tobacco. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is what I enjoy very much. Because, uh, you know, f uh, I'm a UK-based um, pipe smoker. And to get my tobacco is not easy if I want to get it in a better price. Or many times the blends that I can't get a hold of in the UK. Um, so from the US, it's, uh, well, you need a lot of patience. Um, it can take weeks and it can take sometimes a month or two even. Yeah. So. Let's have a look at a selection of tobaccos that I received from Germany. That is, in a sense, much easier these days to, um, to receive. Um, so, um, how we're going to do it, as I normally do the first look, um, a brief description on the tobacco. And uh, in coming weeks, um, yeah, it's going to take a while. Uh, I'm going to smoke them uh, and report back my thoughts. But today's video is simply to go over the selection that I received and a brief description. Um, yeah, so if you are looking for good quality blends, um, so that's what I'm going to do now. I will share with you um, my selection. Now, I must say that uh, all these tobaccos that we're going to uh, have a look at today is either recommended by um, seasoned pipe smokers who know roughly what I like and um, they suggested those blends. Um, some of these blends that I'm going to review today is suggested by a subscriber to this channel, Mark, who is a longtime subscriber to my vaping channel, Net Vapor and uh, he's got very similar taste to mine when it comes to vaping and um, equally when it comes to pipe tobacco and, and other blends that um, some told me um, you must try it and you know it's all by recommendations uh, by pipe smokers who actually smoke those blends um, so yeah hopefully um, they are, well, I know they are very good quality. Hopefully, I will like them all. I, can't, I don't think uh, there's any doubt in that. So, um, without further ado, let's start with um, the first look on today's selection that I received just a few days ago. So, we're going to start with the first one um, that it was recommended by Mark, who is a subscriber to this channel, and my, as I said, my vaping channel. Um, knowing that I love Virginia in my vape, uh, which actually I've got here two different types of Virginia in here. Um, so he knows I uh, do like Virginias um, during the day. You see, if I was smoking a pipe on a daily basis, it would have been a very clear um, style. In the mornings is um, English blends, Balkans, and the like and during the day it will be pure virginias and virginia perique vapors which i really really enjoy because i in my opinion the added spice of the perique adds so much more to the leading virginia it enhances the virginia in my opinion uh, so i do very much like the vapors and in the evenings uh, i do enjoy aromatics um, so that would have been a clear 
that would be my style, but because I don't smoke daily, um, I love the variety and every time according to the mood, yeah. And I, and, and to tell you the truth, I do like um, to try new blends. This is part of the enjoyment for me to see if I like it. I haven't come across yet a pipe blend that I said, no, I do not like that at all. I haven't come across that. Maybe it's because I'm quite selective in what I buy. And those who recommend it, um, recommend good quality but I haven't yet come across such a blend that I, I can say I don't like that <laughs> no uh, but there is certain uh, blends that I enjoy more than others uh, so today's selection reflects my um, my favorite type of blends um, yeah so we'll start with the first one and this is Haymaker by H.U. Tobacco. I do apologize on all this. Uh, this comes from Germany, so yeah. Okay, so we're going to have to ignore that. It's not one of those U.S. beautiful artwork. Uh, if you would have bought this tin in England, you can't, right? It's not available, but you will see a lot worse. So yeah, be thankful for that. So anyway, the Haymaker. Now, the Haymaker is a straight Virginia which apparently um, Gary, who is a, as well a subscriber here, has a recommended as well. Um, many since then I did some research on it and apparently it's one of those uh, delicious straight Virginia blends. Um, I'll also put below the info, but let's go quickly what it's all about. Haymaker is a natural sweet Virginia flake from uh, um, Indian, Phil uh, Philippine, and Brazilian leaf. This pure Virginia flake fascinates both by its full aroma and pleasurable smoking experience. Haymaker is an easygoing companion with complexity for delightful smoke throughout the day. Uh, throughout the day, as for all HU tobacco flake, no glues and binders are used, and thus enable easy rubbing of fold and pack. Uh, try it love it so uh, i'm very much looking to try the haymaker so yeah thank you all for recommending this blend so this is the first one uh, the second one is something that i was told that if i haven't if i like a vapor i ought to try um, this coming blend and i already put it in a jar to keep it uh, airtight because it comes in a uh, tobacco pouch and this is um, called Salty Dogs interesting name and an interesting story as well if you read the blend info uh, long, uh, in long time in long, ti uh, long gone times when imposing sail ships across the seven seas English sailors were, pop uh, were popul uh, popularly called salty dogs never heard that uh, they always took care to have a pocket-sized block of sweet virginia tobacco with them which they would take a slice off um, to then rub out and smoke in their uh, uh, cutty pipes i think that's sort of clay if i'm not mistaken uh, in, in heavy weather they would opt to just bite off a corner to enjoy a as a stimulating piece of chewing tobacco <laughs> interesting okay selected sweet virginias with a small pinch of perique classically enhanced with caribbean rum okay they all were caribbean rum um, once you know to preserve the tobacco uh, are matured over a long time in the press. The result is a dark brown, full and pleasant pipe tobacco in traditional style, offering you a comfortably cool and s smooth smoking experience. Unlike ordinary flakes, it was not cut into slice, but packed as a solid piece of real plug tobacco. Enjoy it in pipes with smaller bowls. I'm not yet sure why smaller bowls, but when I review this uh, tobacco, I'm really looking forward now I'll show you what it's why I put it in the jar because it comes in this style 
and have a look at this beautiful piece of tobacco. I don't want to take off this wrapping. Um, just have a look at that. Beautiful. This is a solid piece. And this is 50 gram. It doesn't smell anything, so obviously it's properly vacuumed in. Um, you know, apparently, um, this is one of the tastiest vapors um, that there is. Now, I know someone who's got it, and I smelt it. I, it, 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 I sliced off a piece. I didn't want to smoke it because I like the element of uh, surprise. I like the element of anticipation for me to smoke it in my time, or maybe when I record the review. Um, but the smell uh, was gorgeous, gorgeous smell. And you slice off a piece with a, with a knife. I'm looking forward to go through this whole procedure with the salty dogs. Um, anyone I asked about, they told me that this is one of the best vapors to buy. Okay, so yeah very much looking forward to that. These blends you cannot get a hold of in the UK for no love, no money. Um, but if you buy them in Germany, they're very competitively priced. Uh, you'll be surprised how competitively priced. If you go to this fine tobacconist, um, yeah, just put in salty dogs. Don't finish off the stock. I still want to order more. Anyway, I ordered a few of those. Uh, I've got a few jars. Um, I just took up one to show you. Um, so that is the salty dogs. Let me just light up this my pipe again. This is I love this vapor. It's really really good. I'm smoking it slow because I know if I'm finished it, I can't get a hold of another one. Now, another blend that uh, I'm going according to the uh, list I've got here on the computer. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, we'll go to the next one. The next one is something that my brother told me about, and he says, you got to try this blend. Anyway, so I uh, took him on it, and this is called Dark Sea dark sea now what is dark sea all about this is also by h u tobacco and this is a um he says he says to me this is for those who enjoy full-bodied um like a bit like an english blend but he says this is one of those that is not as powerful as the rustica by h h uh, by h h rustica by um um Oh gosh, what's the uh, just went out my mind? Sponge uh, by McBaron, <laughs> um, but it is not far off. This is a quite a powerful, but full of flavor. So let me let me tell you what's all about. It's a um, Virginia, Kentucky, Burley, Perique, and Latakia. So it's got the full full whack. The Dark Sea Seaman blend is based on ready robbed Virginia's Kentucky tobacco, Burley Perique, and a touch of Latakia. The blend was seasoned with rum and anise aroma. Now, don't be fooled. This is not a aromatic by no means. Um, you might get touches of it, but yeah. Which underlines its natural character and gives it a maritime touch. The Dark Sea is not a lightweight. That would be a betrayal of the idea. It is a tobacco with present strength and a smart play of aroma and shows the seaman's life from its best side. So join the ship uh, heading for adventure. Uh, I heard from quite a few that this is a blend that one has to try. Um, yeah, so very much looking forward to try this one. Um, yeah, let me see. Let's carry on. There's quite a few blends here that I received in uh, my order. Now, the next one is quite known, and this is the Erinmore. Um, 
I'm sure you heard of this blend before. Um, I wanted to try this quite a while and now I got a chance. Uh, so Erymore is a Black Cavendish, Burley and Virginia. So um, brief description, Erymore Flake is rich in color and delivers assertive flavors. The Virginia and Burley tobaccos have been selected from premium crops. They've had flavor applied, been pressed and matured and cut into delightful flake. Rub one of them and you would smell mostly pure tobacco with citrus, hay and earthiness. Popping the rubbed out mixture into your pipe is easy. Lighting may take a couple of goes, but the flavor are, are worth the effort. The tobacco is a little above medium in strength with grassy, fresh tasting Virginia and earthy, nutty tasting burly. Uh, my mouth is watering already. Uh, you get an appreciation for the fruity topping that's citrus with some stone fruit and hints of vanilla. The room note is good and the bowl you just smoked is mostly clean with only a little moisture. So, uh, sounds delightful, doesn't it? Well, Erimo, wow, a few smokers uh, told me you must try the Erimo. Well, here we are. I have to relight this a few times with all this talk. Right, so that's that. Now the next one is another one that Mark, the subscriber to this channel, has uh, recommended, and this is the Saint Bernard, the Saint Bernard Flake Tobacco, and this is as well by Dan Tobacco, uh, and this is a vapor, Virginia Perique. Apparently, he said that I must try it, so I trust his taste and judgment and I got myself a few of those tins. So what is this about? A medium to full strength blend of finer selected sweet Virginia leaf with a pinch of mature Louisiana Perique for a pleasant rich aroma uh, processed in accordance with classic English tobacco tradition. So very much looking forward to try this one. Um, yeah, to report back. Lovely. Okay. Um, right. So that is that one. And the next one is were, well, quite famous, the Orlick Golden Slice. Uh, I'm sure you heard of this blend. Well, I've got already a few of this tin. This is, well, is it a puri? Is it a vapor? Or is it a straight Virginia? You know, I I'll read you a note about it. Previous edits to this blend have been averted that a dispute exists whether or not Golden Slice contains Perique. It does. And I tell you, I recorded a review on this. I don't know when it's going to be uploaded. It's got quite a few in the queue. In my opinion, it does have a bit of Perique. But uh, th that Perique adds so much to the Virginia. It's really a straight Virginia um, with the touches of Perique, in my opinion. Uh, some palettes will say no, I'm not sure, but anyway, please note that the website, um, whatever pipe states that it's uh, uh, on its Orlick page that it's um, that certain of uh, that is certain of its blends contain fully ripe Virginia and a little Perique. Okay, so the description of it is a blend of golden, fully ripe Virginia leaves from traditional district of the United States and a smidgen of Perique natural sweetness and freshness with hints of citrus. Now, I love this blend. Um, I've got quite a lot of this now, and the reason why I got it, I'll tell you the truth, the price. This is 100 gram, um, 22 euro. 22 euro that you normally pay for 50 gram here in the UK that you can't get of this, a hold of this blend in any case. Uh, so not only I get it from Europe, half price. That is the reason why I wait to get it from Europe, from the US, because I don't want to be ripped off for no reason at all. And by the way, this week was the budget in the UK, in the UK, in England. 
And yeah, prices are going to go up on tobacco and the vapes as well. Now, I don't want to go into the vape uh, aspect on this channel. But yeah, vaping will also become more expensive. And that is really stupid because vaping is the only way for people who smoke cigarettes to get off that habit. But anyway, um, so yeah, stock up from Europe is the best option. So this is the Oleg Golden Slice that I ordered. Uh, yeah, and uh, not many more. Okay, the next one is a blend that I was suggested by quite a few people. And this is the McBaron Navy Flake. The McBaron Navy Flake. Um, I was suggested by quite a few. And um, this is carefully selected Burley, Virginia and original McBaron Cavendish have been pressed and stored for weeks before being cut into slices. The pressing process ensures a slow burning tobacco. Uh, notes introduced in 1965 according to McBaron. Okay, whatever. So I am very much looking forward um, to, ta to taste this blend. Um, and yeah, and I'll upload all my thoughts and all these blends uh, in due course now the last one is um, well let's go straight to it the capstan blue now I very much enjoy the capstan gold and I would love um, to see the difference between them now uh, when before, uh, just before I finish, I wanted to finish my in my basket. Um, I found up a good friend of mine, who is a seasoned pipe smoker, and I gave him the list uh, of my pipe tobacco that I'm ordering. He says, "Well, you've chosen a very good quality list of tobaccos." Um, but he says you're missing something. I said, "What?" So he says, "The capstan." I said, "I've got capstan." gold he says no 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 if you didn't taste the capstan blue you haven't tasted a delicious virginia in your life so um well i ordered a few tins of this one as well um so what is this about i'm sure a lot of you know about it the blend is a composition of select ripe virginia tobaccos sh uh, whose citrus and grassy notes go brilliantly with the natural sweetness and must try for everyone who appreciates a good, straightforward Virginia blend. Notes originally produced by WD and H.O. Wills, now re-released by McBaron, according to the Tolkien Estate. This was J.R.R. Tolkien's favorite tobacco. Well, if it was his favorite, I'm sure I would enjoy it, wouldn't I? So, um, this Capstan Blue, I'm really, really looking forward to as well, because I love this one. Um, yeah so this concluded um the tobaccos for now i've got something else coming from the us quite a big order and most probably some more from the eu oh one more thing he sent me something um without me paying for it he knows how much I enjoy this um, aromatic cigar. This is the Toscano Rosso that I reviewed in the past. Uh, every time I make an order, I order some of these because the guys here in the office just help themselves <laughs> um, quite regularly. And um, yeah, so it's going as fast as it's arriving. So again, in the UK, this is worth a fortune. Put it in Google. I think there's one supplier in Manchester about it, Ashton. Uh, in Europe, it is, I think, quarter cheaper. Well, a quarter of the price. That's what I mean. Um, so I ordered loads. So he added me another one for free. Actually, I ordered a few, but he put a note. This is on the house. So I appreciate that. And of course, he, he also sent me um, this one um, on the house as well. Pipe cleaners is always good to have. Yeah. 
So this uh, concludes today's video, my first look for March 2024. Well, if anyone is asking themselves why I order so much tobacco when I only smoke um, once or twice, or maybe twice and a half, you know, in the week, um, well, the answer is very, very simple. First of all, I love variety. Um, I love to try new blends, and I mentioned that a few times. Uh, I like to taste uh, different tobacconists. I like to taste even the same vapor. It can be a vapor from this tobacconist, a vapor from that. that the, there is differences in the nuances. And second, um, I've got quite a few people who sort of share my pleasures of pipe smoking, if you know what I mean, and it goes quicker than you think. Uh, if I was the only one smoking it, yeah, you wish. Anyway, I don't mind. I, In fact, I enjoy it when other people enjoy it, and also I like to um, smoke in, sometimes in company, the same blend, and we compare notes and what you taste and what I taste, and it's a very pleasurable especially over a barbecue yeah one of our most enjoyed moments on the weekends normally and the third the main reason is that we don't know what's gonna be with tobacco in the coming years the prices of tobacco is is going up and we don't know what's going to be in in america as well there's a lot of talk about increasing all sorts of taxes so my thinking is, um, what harm is it to buy to be overstocked than lower stocked? I'd rather have more than I need than less. And besides, all these tins mature and age beautifully in my storage. So for years to come, they just improve. And hopefully, please God, I lived a long, ripe age, and I'll be able to enjoy all these blends for many years to come. So I have got no problem with ordering uh, a lot more than what I actually use for the moment because in the long term it is the right way to go about it um, so you have loads of tobacco stored and you know under pressure and if whatever happens you have a blend to enjoy and yeah and the, while you're while it's waiting it's just improving and aging with time so it's a win-win situation yeah I think I'm coming near to the end of this bowl. But anyway, I came to the end of this video as well. So, looking forward to try all these blends, as I said, and upload them in the channel in due course. So, um, since this video will be uploaded most probably over the weekend, so I would like to wish you all a relaxing weekend. Um, if any of you smoke these blends that I mentioned today, uh, it'll be very beneficial to me and to others if you leave in the feedback, uh, in the comments section, what your thoughts of that blend. And uh, it gives me as well a heads up and it gives others who are looking, uh, to look, they're looking at the, watching this video and thinking, oh, this sounds nice, this sounds nice. I wish I heard someone else's opinion. Um, so the comments is very, very useful on the video. So I appreciate if you can leave your feedback on any of these blends if you smoke them. Uh, I'm looking forward to smoke them all, uh, especially the, as I said, the, the salty dogs. And yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to them all. I don't want to repeat myself. So, so that is it for me for today. Um, and I'll see you soon on the next video. So have a great weekend. And until the next time, take care. Stay healthy. Bye-bye for now.